Hey guys, just wanted to show you a quick video uh, of a technique I found for de-anodizing aluminium parts. Uh, I bought some hop-up parts for uh, one of my models. Uh, these are kind of back uh, rear bearing carriers for an RC car. And uh, they come in this kind of anodized blue. And uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I thought it was a bit sort of blingy. Uh, what I wanted to do is just go for a sort of more classic uh, sort of silver look. Um, so I've got sort of black carbon and black plastic and then silver uh, for the metal parts. But um, they only came in this kind of blue <coughs> anodized color. So just using some simple uh, oven cleaner. This is uh, uh, available in the UK, just normal kind of oven cleaner. Um, and a little bit of work, we can go from uh, something looking like that to uh, this one here. Um, by literally just agitating uh, the part in some uh, in some oven cleaner, and then what we'll do is we'll just sort of polish it up afterwards to um, to to give it a bit of protection against sort of oxidisation and dirt um, to uh, to keep it looking nice. So uh, all we do is um, uh, take your piece, and you want a sort of bowl, um, preferably sort of something that's kind of uh, metal or glass, you know, so it doesn't sort of burn or melt or anything like that. Probably doesn't, but uh, glass or uh, metal will be better. Obviously, you want to take the necessary health and safety precautions. So you need some steel toe-cap boots. You need a high-vis yellow jacket. Um, you need some armoured goggles, uh, a face mask, and uh, a fully ventilated uh, room um, from a health and safety point of view. Take your, uh, your can, shake it up a bit, and uh, spray it into the bowl. Get some nice foam action going on there. Put a little bit more in. Take your uh, part and dunk it in, and then take a, a skewer or a stick of some kind. Uh, wooden uh, barbecue skewer uh, works quite well. And you just want to kind of agitate it around a bit in the foam. Uh, it's going to take about sort of 10 minutes um, to, uh, to work. And uh, you want to kind of agitate it now and then just to uh, let it kind of do its stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll leave that for a little while and we'll come back to that uh, when the oven cleaner has done its work. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes now in the uh, Mr. Muscle, and I've kind of agitated it, and you can see that the, uh, the foam has changed uh, a kind of nice shade of blue. Uh, obviously, depending on your anodizing color, you'll get a nice shade of uh, blue or pink or red or green or whatever color your uh, anodizing is. <coughs> it may take, obviously, different times, uh, depending on how thick the anodizing is. So, uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes is not a hard and fast rule. Um, you're just going to have to kind of play it by ear and sort of, um, keep checking it and uh, if it's not done put it back in keep kind of generally agitating it um, but uh, once you're kind of uh, sure that uh, most of the kind of anodizing is off put it into some uh, water just to uh, get rid of the uh, the remaining stuff off of the uh, of the piece uh, so uh, just sort of literally just agitate it around in the water Let's try and just duck this out so here you can see you now most of the uh, most of the um, the anodizing's come off and with a little bit of a rub I'll just put it on some kitchen roll here and uh, I'll just clean this up and uh, I'll show you the finished product. So there we go, there are two uh, 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 now silver uh, pieces. Uh, some of the anodizing still inside the uh, bearing carrier in sort of nooks and crannies. You get a cotton bud or a, what they call Q-tips in the States. Um, you get a Q-tip and you can sort of scrape uh, scrape it out from there. I'm not really worried about that because the bearing's going to sit in there and no one's going to see it. So that's now a sort of bare aluminium. Uh, so we want to now give it a bit of a polish um, to sort of shine it up and uh, give it a bit of a protective layer. So I'm going to get the Dremel out and uh, some metal polish to uh, to polish these up and I'll show you the result of that in a second. Right, so I've just spent a little bit of time with a uh, Dremel and uh, some metal polish and here you can see the finished polished Piece. There's still a bit of, let's say, anodizing left in the bearing holder, uh, in the bearing um, uh, hole there. But again, I say I'm not too worried about that because that's where uh, no one's going to see that because the bearing. But I've got a lovely, um, clean, fresh, and it's also protected um, with the uh, polish that I've used. Uh, you could obviously put some sort of clear coat uh, on it if you wanted to add a little bit more protection to it. Um, but there you go, hopefully that helps. Um, so if you're not keen on the anodizing color of your parts, then uh, with some simple oven cleaner uh, and a little bit of elbow grease, not a great deal, you can go and, uh, and give yourself a nice uh, basic silver part. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe uh, to help me out. Any comments, please put in the uh, place where YouTube provides and um, I'll try and do some more videos soon. Thanks.